One family is hoping to recover inventory after several tornadoes swept across the greater Houston area last week, destroying many homes and businesses. CW39 Sydney Simone is live in Humble to share how the owners of two boutiques are picking up the pieces from the storm. Sydney? Good morning. Well, this building behind me doesn't look the way it did last week. In fact, when a tornado blew through Humble, it left these businesses in pieces with debris all over the ground. And now, suites 311 C and D were two of many businesses that were impacted, and they are completely wiped out. The owners say they're hoping to bounce back from this storm. Well, I got a phone call at 7 o'clock, 7.30 on Sunday morning saying, hey, uh, get to the warehouse. So I'm just like, uh, for what? I don't work on Sundays. It was the cleaning um, people who clean the warehouses, and they said, the warehouse is gone. I say, gone? This is Martha E. Berry, CEO of Imarie Boutique, one of the businesses destroyed by a tornado that swept across Humble in southeast Texas. With everything that's happening is very traumatic and very hard because it's like I did it, you know, with nothing, and now I have a lot. But it's like I'm losing a lot. Less than 24 hours before the tornado blew through the warehouse, Barry says she had a conversation with her daughter, Iceland Robinson, the CEO of Icy Boutique, to talk about their goals for expanding in 2022. Robinson, a college student at Prairie View A&M University, says this is a very hurtful loss, especially since her boutique was a birthday gift from her mom. When I drove up on scene, I think that's when it hit me. At first, it didn't hit me, but I think just, you know, seeing it, like, this is ours. Barry started Imarie Clothing Boutique five years ago with no job. Two years later, Icy Boutique opened. With the rapid growth in sales, Barry bought two suites and turned them into warehouses. Prior to the storm, the ladies also owned a storefront that closed due to the financial strain of the COVID-19 pandemic. At the end of the day, I have to be strong for my staff and my girls, but at the same time, the strong person breaks too. Barry and Robinson were hoping to recover most of their inventory, but unfortunately, they received more devastating news. The walls were like covering the merchandise, but when they went to actually get the walls today, it crumbled. For now, the owners are putting their things in storage until they relocate. I just think this was probably just a minor setback for where God is about to take us. It's always a rainbow at the end of the storm. I know that it's going to be bigger and it's going to be greater, and we hurt now, but I know that we'll be smiling soon. In the meantime, there's a GoFundMe account to help recoup some of the loss and accrued expenses. And the owners hope to raise $100,000, but they need help from the community. So far, they've raised about $15,000. To donate, you can visit our website, cw39.com, for the link.